Hi, and welcome to Celebrity Chef. I'm LaDonna Gunderson, and today joining me in the kitchen is my good friend Michael Briggs. Hello. I'm so excited that he's here today because we are going to be making a heavenly Dungeness Crab redip. And before we get started, we'd like to thank George Inlet Lodge for providing the Dungeness Crab for us, and a and for um, providing the ingredients for our recipe today, and also Alicia and the gang for letting us use their fabulous kitchen. Okay, so we have our ingredients here. Uh, Michael, tell us about your recipe. Well, there is a very popular recipe here in town that I personally oh. enjoy as often as I can, but you can't always go out to eat, so I tried to kind of reverse engineer it and see if I couldn't make it in my own house. And so, probably not exactly like their recipe, but uh, it's very tasty and it's something you could make ahead of time, put it in the fridge, oh, bring nice. it out the next day, and then uh, and then serve it to your guests. So, oh, my kind of recipe. Absolutely. I love this Dungeness crab. Well, George and Lit Lodge was kind enough to provide that for us. Uh, you know, I'm sure you're aware we do a crab tour out there all summer long. A couple different ones, but the centerpiece of it is all you can eat Dungeness crab meal. And a lot of people aren't aware of this, but as a local, if you want to go out to George and Lit Lodge and have one of the all you can eat crab feasts, yum, yum. you can do it without doing the boat tour or doing the float plane tour. You can go out there and just do the meal itself. So. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And so if you wanted to do that this summer, you'll see some advertisements, I'm sure. But uh, other than that, just give a call out to the lodge and they'll get you all set up. All right. What's the number for the lodge? 225-6077. Uh, all right. That sounds good. Well, it looks like we have lots of yummy ingredients. Brie, my favorite mm -hmm. cheese in the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness ricotta and heavy whipping cream, lots of garlic, oh my goodness. <laughs> it looks like we're going to be dipping our green apples in the in the dip. That's correct. With the French bread. Absolutely. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be great. <laughs> so uh, we do need two tablespoons of butter. That's one of the things that's going to be in the, in the recipe. Right. We'll hold that out. Um, usually you would use a couple cloves of garlic. They did provide us with this great already Lots chopped garlic. garlic. What they often recommend is uh, instead of crushing the garlic and running it through a garlic press, okay. actually mince the garlic. So this is already oh, nice. pre-minced. So you can taste the garlic. Exactly. You get a little garlic bomb in there every Yum. once in a while. So it calls okay. for about a tablespoon and a half. All right. So we'll dump a little bit of that in there. I mean, everybody's likes to yeah. play with their own I recipes love and put it in. Yeah, me too. I so. don't think you could ever have too much of it. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> And then we need shallots. Um, okay. If you don't have any shallots in the house, of course, you can just use onions of sure. one kind or another. But these do have a little bit more of a mild taste. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get that going. Uh, for this, it needs about two tablespoons. So I'm going to guess probably Okay. at least this one clove out of here, maybe a little bit more right. after that. Would you like me to chop that? That would be great. If you don't okay. mind doing that, that would no, be fantastic. Not at all. Okay. Um, and then we'll take the butter, I'll go ahead and put it in the pan. Now that pan was a little hot. Okay, so. Feels perfect. Yeah, we'll let the butter melt in there. Okay, we have the pan over low heat. So we don't burn our butter. And we want the garlic and the shallots to just be limp. Not, okay. Not crispy or overcooked. All right. So you don't have to turn it up too high. Okay. You can go ahead and dump and this in there. And you want these uh, minced, Michael? Yes, that'd be great. All right. Now I'm going to cut this the way I do uh, an onion. Perfect. Cut it down the middle a couple times and then chop it up, mince it up. I like using shallots. It gives a nice flavor to a dish. Mm -hmm. Okay, how's that? Looks great. And again, this calls for a couple tablespoons. That looks like a couple tablespoons of me okay. going through it in the pan. All right. Ooh, Probably yum. a little more than a couple, but that's okay. That'll make it taste good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. And we can let that cook down for a minute. Okay. Wow, you're quite the cook. Well, I do enjoy cooking. Do you do all the cooking? For the most part. You do? For the most part at the house, yeah. What is your favorite thing to cook? 
That's a good question. Um, I like to make prime rib at home. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> is that, uh, is prime rib, uh, is that one of your go-to recipes? Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but I mean, like, <laughs> if it's a special occasion, then yeah, I make a, wow. my own Michael Briggs prime rib rub and I you put do, it on. Do you like ribeyes too? Oh yeah. Oh, me too. I like, do you like I, lots of garlic? And I, do you, I like food. Do you do the I'm horse part, radish and the, oh, yeah, yeah. the, the sour cream? Horse radish, oh, absolutely. me too. I like, I just think that makes it all. <laughs> and I love good fresh vegetables with yeah, it. And, me too. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. I now love, I'm getting hungry. Exactly. So we're making an appetizer. Exactly. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect for an appetizer, and like I said before, you can prep this the day before, okay. whip it, uh, put it in the fridge. The next day, you're about to have your friends come over, throw it in the oven about All 15, right. 20 minutes beforehand, and it'll be perfect. Okay, I see that it's uh, coming right along here. Yep. It's looking um, good. Okay, so what's next? Next, we're going to have the brie, and it's an 8-ounce wheel of brie. Okay. And you don't want this rind part, so you want to try to get as much of that off as you can. All right. And... With this, then we will also cut this into cubes and melt that with the butter and the onion. Oh, yum. Or butter and the shallots and the garlic. It's a little oh, soft. Oh, I love brie cheese. Me too. <laughs> One of my favorites. Now, I am not a chef, so my knife skills are not probably up to yours. Hey, you're doing yours, great. But <laughs> we'll get it in there. All right. All right, so we've got the rind off of the brie cheese. Exactly, and then um, we'll cut this down into cubes. We're gonna leave a okay. little bit on there. It's not gonna kill us. All right. Um, this brie is really soft, so it won't take long to melt that at all. The cream cheese also, we're gonna put eight ounces of cream cheese in there as well. Okay. And that should also be cubed up so it'll melt kind of evenly. All right, here it comes. Okay. Oh, yum. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to go together pretty quickly. Yeah, and then we'll put that in a mixing bowl and let it cool for a minute. Okay. So that it's not too terribly uh, oh, hot when yum. we add the crab in there. But yeah. Okay. And we'll let this melt? Yep, just melt it down. While this begins melting, I'll quickly cube up that cream cheese. Okay. And we'll do the same thing I'll to that. I'll do the stirring. Perfect. <laughs> Wow. So you were on the road a lot this winter. I was following you on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. This, uh, oh my goodness. 11 shows over 11 weeks. 11. Oh my gosh. And um, so what did you do at your shows? Oh, I, uh, well, I work for Alaska Sport Fishing Expeditions. Okay. They're the operators of Cedars Lodge, Silver King Lodge, and Clover Pass Resort. Okay. So I go out on the road and I sell fishing trips to anglers around the western United States. Oh, wow. Those guys that go to the sportsmen's expos all over the place. Oh, my gosh. Did you, uh, did you talk to a lot of interesting people? You always see a Do lot of interesting one, people. One in particular that just comes to your mind right now? I don't think I can talk about that on TV. <laughs> Tell me later. <laughs> okay, I'll save that one. How about food? Well, any interesting restaurants or? You know, the, to be honest, I'm usually between the shows and the hotel and traveling to the next show, there's not a whole lot of free time to go out and okay. really get it to enjoy. Like you don't have a favorite barbecue place or? Unfortunately, like I said, I just don't no. have much time. So we tend to eat somewhere close to the hotel yeah. or at the show. Oh my I gosh, mean, you're busy. Those shows go all day. Yeah, they're 10 to 12 hours a day. Oh my goodness, and that's then, a lot of standing on your feet. Yeah, I don't take a chair. <laughs> you don't? I purposely don't, no. Why is that? Uh, well, because as soon as I sit down, somebody will walk up and start oh, talking yeah, and to me. Oh yeah, then you have so, to jump up. So then I'm like doing squats all day long. Maybe I should get a chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, so I'll let you All right. do your magic there. This is coming together nicely. It's melting down, becoming one. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's already starting to look like a dip. And you can see the chunks of oh shallot and the goodness. chunks of garlic in there, so you... Wow, it smells divine. It really is good. Yum. And it's nearly there. Well, I once, can't wait. Once this blends together, then we'll put it in the mixing bowl. Okay. We'll go ahead and cook the crab at that point. Add the remaining ingredients okay. over to the mixing bowl, mix it up, and then we're almost done. All right. <laughs> so then we also want to add the ricotta cheese. 
Um, before we go into that. Yeah. Not yet. All the other ingredients go in after this cools. Oh. So, okay. we're going to take this now and let it cool off for a little while. After it's cooled, we'll add the remaining ingredients. Okay. And, and then blend it together, you know, use a mixer. Oh my Whether goodness. The hand mixer will do. So it'll be a nice smooth dip. Exactly. And <laughs> actually, it, it fluffs up the cheese a little bit. So oh, it makes sure. it, you know, kind of whips it up a little bit. There's okay. whipping cream in there too, of course. That makes sense. And so, um, it All will right. make it a little bit more airy and really nice. Okay, and so, I see you have green onions. Well, that's really for color. It's a little bit for flavor, but you know, okay. just to add a little bit of color at the end. All right, Otherwise, shall I go ahead and chop them up? Um, sure, if you'd like, that'd All be right. great. Let's do that. And I'm gonna start getting the crab ready. Let me set this oh, over here. Oh, I can't wait to have crab. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> All right, get the water up to boiling. We eat a lot of crab in the summer. Do you guys drop pots while you're out on the Yeah, water? we have a couple that we have out. Cool, where at? I'm not telling. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. Okay, I know. In the, well, but because crab, we have mouth. so much crab, it forces me to be creative on our fishing boat. Sure. Because, well, we eat salmon five days a week, usually sometimes two or three times a day. Right. So then when we get crab, it's like, yippee! It's so birthday. what can you do with it? I know now I have a new recipe. Excellent. <laughs> this is almost ready to go. That'll be fun. I'll let you know when I try it. Well, you'll be trying it in about 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, well, on the boat, I mean. <laughs> Excellent. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is so neat to be cooking with you in the kitchen. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I missed you guys this winter. I know. How's well, Nicole doing? Very well. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What's she up to these days? Well, she's settling back into Ketchikan uh -huh. and getting ready for, uh, you know, there's a new store opening down on Birth 4. Oh, where's that? Uh, across from First City Electric what over is, there. What's the name of it? Well, it's New Tongas. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Didn't know that. <laughs> there will be a fourth Tongas Trading Company store down on the docks this summer, and I she'll be working not. at that store. Oh my gosh, is she excited? She is. Wow, that'll be neat. <laughs> she enjoyed her time uh, away from, oh, you know, she came on the road with me this summer. You went winter. somewhere warm. We did. After the 11 weeks on the road, yeah. she and I took off and went to Cabo San Lucas nice. for six days. Oh my gosh, I'm so envious, but I shouldn't be. <laughs> it, was, oh, it was wonderful. And, wow. you know, the phone didn't work, so I got yeah. to really turn the uh, phone off and relax. And relax. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, chill out. It was great. Oh my gosh. Did you, uh, did you did you get to eat some fish tacos? Of course. In fact, I was craving shrimp, so everywhere I went, I had shrimp tacos. You did? <laughs> I was just... I had fish tacos first day, but after that I'm like, okay, shrimp tacos. Nice. Shrimp tacos. Let's go shrimp tacos. Can I have shrimp tacos? You want some shrimp tacos? I love shrimp tacos. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So. All right. So we have a we have a, a, a pot back here with uh, it's about a quarter full of water. When we salted it, heavily salted it. We're gonna add the crab, and uh, we're, we're not gonna cook it because I'm assuming it's already cooked. It's pre-cooked. Okay. So. And it just basically needs to warm up. Okay. Of course, this is like a giant ice cube, so it's gonna cool okay. that water off. You need to let it get back up to a boil. Then when it floats, essentially it's ready to rock. Okay. So what do you think? Two, three minutes? Yeah, it doesn't take long at all. Oh my Maybe gosh. Maybe five. Are we allowed to sample the crab? Of course. <laughs> It wouldn't be a cooking show if you couldn't sample as you went along. Yeah. Right, right. Oh my goodness. So where are we at with the rest of the recipe? Nearly there. Like I said, once we once this is done, okay. then we'll have to, you know, remove the crab from the okay. shells. Uh, we're going to want about two-thirds of a pound of crab, three-quarters of a pound of crab, something like that. Okay, we have a scale here that we we're do. going to weigh that out. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, I mean, I'm just kind of guessing here, but I'm thinking it's going to be about four clusters. Oh, nice. But and, and more for us. Of course, yeah. We'll make a couple <laughs> extra clusters for us there. Wow. Um, but All right. Um, do you suppose this is cooled down enough to add I'll let, it, let it cool. Okay. There's no, it no looks, need to rush it. Boy, it looks nice and, and creamy. Okay. Feels like it's cooling down. Good. All right. Wow. Oh yeah, it's cool. Oh my goodness. So we've uh, we put a couple more legs into the pot. So okay. we're gonna be getting into that in a minute. We've got the onions chopped up. We're gonna need a quarter cup of ricotta cheese. We may as well, oops, sorry. Go ahead and throw that into the mixing okay. bowl if you want to. All right. Um, we need a teaspoon of lemon juice. Okay. And again, I'm pretty right. liberal about my measurements, so. Okay. And the heavy whipping cream? 
Oh, we, we are going to need a, a cup of that. Okay. So. All right. You tell me if the, you think that's a teaspoon. 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 Perfect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then we have one cup of heavy whipping cream. Okay. All right. Like I said, that'll make it really kind of fluffy. Oh, yum. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Um, Green onions? Yep. Let's go ahead and toss those in there. Ooh, look at you go. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, my knife skills aren't great. I'm not a chef, okay. but I cook <laughs> in my you house You cook great. I've had your cooking. All right. Let it go in there. And maybe yeah, give it a higher speed to let that whipping cream sort of... Yeah, thicken up a bit? Exactly. Okay. Oh, you, you should smell this. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's good stuff. We've got a few crabs going in here. Do you want to help me peel these? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you eat a lot of crab during the summer? Well, especially early in the year. Yeah. Like, um, for instance, this weekend, I don't know if you're familiar with what a fam trip is with the cruise ship no. lines. Um, well, a lot of times they will have the staff on the cruise ships, the shore excursion staff will come out and they'll get to go actually enjoy the tours that we right. offer in town. Okay. And so uh, early in the season, we'll be doing a lot of that, inviting okay. shore excursion people over to George Inlet Lodge nice. and having crab. And so typically early in the year, I eat a ton of it. Oh, yeah. And then uh, as the summer progresses, I'll go drop a few pots and I'll mm -hmm. eat it, yeah. you know, quite often. I mean, I will definitely say, I would eat it every meal. You would? <laughs> I, mean, I love it, yeah. <laughs> and shrimp. Shrimp and, uh, yeah, I love shrimp too. Any shellfish. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need, you want to so help me here? So do you have a trick how to cut well, the meat the, out of this crab? And they'll teach you this at Georgian Lodge too, but <laughs> a lot of times you take, for instance, this piece, and you'll take a fork, and you see that little V there? Okay. Run the tine of the fork up, oh. split it, and then you can just get the whole crab right out of there. Oh, nice. So. Okay. That does make it a little bit easier. See if I, you want to, yeah. See if I can give it a whirl. Grab a leg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 smells good, huh? It does. Mm -hmm. All right. And this will probably take I know us a there's few another minutes. trick. Okay, give it to me. Okay. Another trick is you can um, you can hit it with your hand like that. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that does it too. <laughs> Remember, and I am a fisherman. This is true. And the beautiful part about this too is you just, you want this crab meat to be pretty finely chopped. So okay. it doesn't have to be whole pieces like it would be, for oh, instance, nice. if you were eating it at home. Okay. And Look trying to at dip this. It. Oh, there you go. Oh, I wish you could smell it. Mm -hmm. Oh. So okay. good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you see that? I didn't see anything. Did you see this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we have plenty, so that's not an issue. Wow, and we want to be careful that we don't get any um, shell pieces, shell in, there, pieces yeah. in there. There's a oh, nice claw piece. That is cooked perfectly. Oh, excellent. Let me go ahead while you do that. I'm going to okay. pull these other bits out. All right. Oh. Oh, my goodness. And we can let this cool for a minute while we work on okay. those. <laughs> it really is a good way to get it. Oh, uh, get it out of there. I do not doubt that. Or a pair of pliers. Yeah, or but, you know, like a walnut cracker. Yeah, yes, you know, you, a walnut cracker. Um, they're a dollar in here in town, you know? We use pliers on the boat, but they're not always the cleanest pliers. Well, you know, any port in the storm, right? <laughs> <laughs> our right. cat, we, we have our cat on the boat. Kita? Oh, Kita loves crab. She'll do anything for crab. Excellent. Anything. <laughs> I think, uh, I pretty much think she likes crab better than salmon. Really? Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe like you, She it's a treat. Right. You know what I mean? Right. She doesn't get to eat it every day. Did you know that Kita likes her salmon only cooked? Oh, no, I did yeah, not know she that. she will not eat raw salmon. Crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy cat. Crazy? Yeah. yeah. There was a, a couple that, well, they come out to Clover Pass Resort every year, and they had a, like a Labrador Retriever. They fed it pink salmon and nothing else. 
and at 19 years old, it uh -huh. still looked like a puppy. Wow. I mean, great, great Lucky. coat on it. I mean, and the veterinarian kept telling him, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it, because this is a healthy dog now. Unfortunately, it's been a couple wow. of years, and it has passed, but. Pink salmon. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this your way. Oh. Hey, that worked though. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there we go. Oh, that might have been a little easier. <laughs> <laughs> it works pretty I'm good. Slamming my hand down. I do that with garlic too sometimes. Wow, it looks like we got through this pretty quickly. Yeah, we're getting there. These pieces are harder yeah, to do. Yeah, the claws are I a little tougher. I know Oli always does this part for me, but this part too, what I learned is that you could take it that mm -hmm. orange side down mm -hmm. and you could hit it too. Perfect. <laughs> See, and I, I'm always worried about breaking my hand doing it on those oh. big claws. Oh, yeah, I should, probably should be worried too. See, it comes out in a nice piece mm -hmm. like that. And we're going to take this, after we get enough of it, we're going to take it and chop it up anyway. Okay. But, uh, we'll want to pick through there. Look yeah, at this. Make, make sure there's no... Uh, Yum. Make sure there's no shells in there, but other than that, we're good to go. Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's a blooper. Yeah. <laughs> right in my eye. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we got this. Let's uh, let's put this in the garbage. Okay. Ooh. And grab uh, the other two. Perfect. Uh, let me try Looks it. like we'll have the right amount. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And there goes the shell. All right. Okay. There, we'll start fresh with the next. Okay. So, we are getting through this pretty quickly. You want to? Should we weigh it real quick? Weigh I, it? Yeah. All right. No, we can't tear it now because there's already stuff in there. But just, I know how much the bowl weighs. So. Okay. Hello. Hello. It says hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've gotten about five and a half ounces, and we need about 12 ounces. So we're still behind a little bit. Okay, so, so keep, let's, let's keep picking. Yep, keep digging. Keep cracking. <laughs> <laughs> and in that case, I'm going to put one more cluster in there, just in case. Okay, ooh, this is a little hot. A little hot. Yeah, they just came out. Oh my goodness. Okay. You heard of the Alaskan lollipop? <laughs> right oh, look there. at Ole. Have I? <laughs> <laughs> That's right there. You just take this little outside you? edge off. This is what they call He's it. He's not a, filming. Oh, they call that Where a George Inlet Lodge. Is the Alaskan lollipop. The, why, why do they call it an, an Alaskan lollipop? You can just pop the end of it. Oh my gosh, I've learned so much today. <laughs> the Alaskan <laughs> lollipop. That's it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I want to eat it. <laughs> Go ahead. We've got plenty. Seriously. Okay. Oh. Yum. <laughs> wow. I love crab. Mm -hmm. I love seafood. I'm going to put this right there for later. Sure. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Aren't we lucky to live in Alaska? I tell you. I mean, to be able to just you know, motor out in the morning, yeah. drop a couple pots, fish for a couple hours, catch some salmon, come back to the pots, grab some crabs, and head back and have all that on the grill by the end of the day. Oh my gosh. A, it's a luxury most people really don't have. Right. <laughs> and then, if you're lucky, you'll see a whale. Or Maybe a killer a, whale. Or a bear. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's pretty par Otter for the course of. Huh? Yeah. Those are always seals. Sea First lions. time I ever saw a mink, I was pretty blown away because you know. You were? No, well, I thought they were extinct, basically. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you hear about, oh yeah, you don't wear mink coats because they're not. You're gonna kill all the poor mink. Right. But, but there's one. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is really cool. Wow. I know. I love the beauty. We were over on Maui. Oh yeah. We saw so many whales. In fact, we thought we saw a whale being born. Ooh. Yeah, it was quite the experience. I bet. Um. You know, the mama brings the whales in pretty close yeah. to, to birth them. Sure. And uh, and we were there just right at the right time. And mama had that little baby up on her fin mm -hmm. and like going like this. We were fortunate. And then all of a sudden, the little, the little baby, they call them pickles. Oh, really? Because when they're born, they, 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 don't, they can't breach. They don't breach. Right. And from what we've been told is that mama will bring the, bring the baby in you know, under the shallow water, and then when it learns to breach, then it will go back out in a safer water in a 
right. deeper water. Gotcha, gotcha. Right. So we were there, and we were watching the baby go up and down, up and down, and then she throws it off into the water. It was so cool, <laughs> like a water slide. And then the baby comes up, and then you see the little tail, little tiny little tail, and then you see it jump up jump up like a pickle. Right, pickle, right, pickle. right, right. And then all of a sudden you see the baby try to breach again. And then the baby <laughs> breached a couple more times. And then the sun was setting. Oh my gosh. Standing there. Oh. And uh, lo a crowd of people, of course. Right. And then mama takes that baby out into the deeper water. It was neat. And there was also an escort. Oh, cool. Yeah, an, an escort uh, with mama. Right. Um, I don't know if it was her husband or not. Right, right. <laughs> But a, a bull hump keep back it, hanging keep it out. Safe. Yeah. That's but, great. But, uh, yeah, they say that. Uh, Looks like that's about good. That there's like 30% more whales um, being born over there. Well, that's good. Yeah, we think because they're being fed so well over here. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I saw actually we saw humpback mama and baby as well down in uh, Cabo San Lucas. You did. Mm -hmm. Isn't that quite a sight to see? It always is. Yeah. It never it's gets amazing. old. Amazing. It never gets old. All right, so where are we at here? Well, um, I think we think need... we've got enough? Well, no, it almost looks like maybe we need a little bit more. Let's see, one second. What do you got there? Oops. Uh, about four more ounces and okay. we should be good. All right. <laughs> so let's, let's keep cracking. Yeah, there you go. I noticed you're <laughs> not eating. Well. I'm trying to conserve for the uh, recipe here, Madonna. I'll make sure you have enough. I have mine. <laughs> now, as soon as we reach 12 ounces of crab okay. meat, you'll see me eating some crab. All right. Let's do it. Let's get this done here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Now, this part's a little harder. That's the lollipop. You just got to peel around the edge of it. And you want to eat that lollipop. <laughs> Okay. All right. So you take your fork and go like this, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. And just rip right well, up that seam. That's pretty scene. easy. Mm -hmm. Now I'd like to know. Okay. When you eat your crab, do you peel all of your crab? You crack all your crab first oh, and no. put it in a little pile, oh, or no. do you eat it like this? <laughs> I eat it just straight as yeah. You as do? soon as it's out of the shell, it's in my mouth. Okay, because a lot of or people. All over my shirt is where right. it tends to end up. Do you wear a little bib? <laughs> no, I just go no for bib. it. <laughs> oh my gosh. A lot of people, they'll crack their crab yeah. and they'll put it in a little pile on their plate. Right. And then yeah, maybe put some uh, sauce on it or some kind, cocktail sauce, and then they'll eat it that way with their fork. They probably eat pizza and with a fork too. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but not me. I just eat it right yeah, out of the shell here. Straight out. Wow. <laughs> okay, do you think we have four ounces? Well. Oh, me, not that part. May as well uh, finish this last claw, and then we'll take it from there. All right, let's check it for let's check it for any bits of shells. That's a good idea. And then it can because we certainly don't want like a that play in, in the crab. Perfect. Ooh, look at this big piece mm -hmm. right from the claw. Okay. Right from the claw. All right. Even a little bit that goes up there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yep. I'll turn that guy on. Two more ounces. Two more ounces. That's okay. <laughs> Am I going to have to give this back? <laughs> no, because I've got three more clusters going over here. <laughs> oh, yum. All right. We'll go ahead and turn off the boiling water here. Perfect. We have our oven set at. 425. You want to dump those? Yes. Fantastic. And, well, yeah, we're going to want to chop this all up, but let's get a couple more okay. ounces of crab in there. We're doing pretty good here. Mm-hmm. Think we'll need this one too? Uh, probably not, to be honest. I can save you, that one. Can you go heavy on the crab? You can put as much in there as you like, sure. Oh, all now, right. We do have, a, these are a little hot, so be careful. Okay. So what are you looking most forward to this summer? I bought a new rod and reel. You did? So I'm anxious to get out on the water and use that. You were with us when we when we uh, caught, when Oli and I caught our first rod. Yes, that's uh, right. <laughs> and I'm still anxious to see you guys catch another one. So you guys are going to have to come out fishing with me this summer. That was kind of a funny story. It was great. Do you remember that story? Yeah. Well, 
if you we, want me to tell it. We, I can tell it. Go ahead. We, uh, so uh, my, Michael, um, working for um, Clover Pass Resort, mm -hmm. um, when our Salmon and Desserts and Friends cookbook came out, asked if we would like to um, join Mariko Izumi of the World Fishing Network on their boat for the day mm -hmm. and go out and catch some salmon on mm -hmm. a rod. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I said, sure. And I asked Oli and he says, oh, well, yeah, we can go. It'll be my birthday. It'll be fun. <laughs> he said, but do you think that we should let them know that we've never caught a salmon on a rod before? <laughs> <laughs> and we looked at each other and we said, no, let's go. It'll be a fun experience. <laughs> so we went out on the boat and Michael was there and, mm -hmm. and the, dr the driver and Mariko and the film crew guy. And, mm -hmm. and we were there and uh, we flipped a coin to see who would go first. So it was my turn to go. I got to go first. And so, so, so one of you handed me the rod, Ooh. and I, and I, because I, I, the gill netting all these years, <laughs> I, I, I've never, I've never had a rod in my hand before. Right. You know, I thought it was called a fishing pole, but you called it a rod. Right. And uh, so I throw my line out, and immediately I get a coho on the end. Yep. And remember that? Mm -hmm. And I was so excited. I was too. It was and, really fun. Yeah. And uh, and so then uh, it was Mariko's turn. Mariko's mm -hmm. turn, and she caught a coho, giant coho. And uh, and then it was Oli's turn. He caught the biggest fish. And it was so big it broke the line, and the line went flying by Mariko's. It was like barely, barely got her. And we were like, oh my gosh. So he throws his line back out again, and oh, he got something right away, and he reeled it in, and it was like a fish this big. Yeah, I remember. Remember, it was a little tiny caught, fish. I think that he one was smaller than fish. the herring that yeah. was on the And, uh, <laughs> on and so the then uh, we were standing around and we said, all right, maybe we should tell him. <laughs> and so the camera was rolling, and Marika looks at both Oli and I standing next to each other, and she said, so you two have never caught a fish on a rod before? And, and I looked over at Oli and I said, no, we haven't. And I asked Oli, I said, why haven't we ever caught a fish on a rod before? And he looked right into the camera and said, because we would starve to death. <laughs> I do Isn't remember that. that. A great story? <laughs> I remember that. And so, yeah, we went out. We <laughs> caught a few fish that day. And I think, yeah, on the end of the, on that episode at one point, it shows you guys like a little, you know, um, yeah. Like collage of you guys catching fish, and then yeah. at the end, uh, Oli goes, "Well, I guess we won't starve now." That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I have that new uh, little cookbook coming out. Yes. My little, my first of a mini series. Oh, no. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the picture on the front of that cookbook. Yeah, you might have taken it. I don't know. Okay. Maybe Oli got it with the iPhone. But the, me holding the fish, right. that's from that day. Oh, that's and awesome. And so I used it because it's so special. Right. Because it was the first fish I had ever caught on a rod before, and I haven't caught another one since. <laughs> well, we got to correct that this I, summer. I asked Oli one time, I said, how many pounds of fish do you suppose that we've caught in the past 28 years? <laughs> and he thinks, I don't know, a million? Maybe a million pounds of fish? But never have ever caught one on a rod before. Well, we're going to have to change that again this year. Hey, you know when we were dating, Oli and I, mm -hmm. um, he took me up to Word Lake with with fishing poles to catch trout. Okay. And we were there, it uh, was the first summer that we knew each other. Right. And we were there, and and I was, it's where the, the um, water is, and I was waiting on the other side, all mm -hmm. young and everything. <laughs> and he was fishing, and he caught like a big bundle of trout. And and I and first time to Alaska. I was sure. just up visiting for a couple weeks, and all of a sudden I was like, oh, I was jumping up and down, and I couldn't say anything. And he, and Oli turns around and looks, and there's a mama and two bear cubs right behind him. You never seen him so run so fast. He I left bet. the he left the trout behind. <laughs> That's a good idea. And, and that was the last time he ever took me fishing with a rod. <laughs> <laughs> you bring bears. We're gonna Why no is more that? of that. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and empty that. Okay. We're good to go on the amount of crab that we've got now. All right, so now we've got plenty of crab here. You can go ahead and dump it out onto okay. the cutting board. Oop. All right. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, isn't that great? And we just want to chop it up. Okay. Because what it's going to mix in with the with the cheese mixture. Okay. And as much, you know, every bite we want to get a crab piece in there. Wow. So if you can really... This is a lot of crab. It is a lot of crab. It's about... 
two thirds of a pound actually probably have closer to three quarters of a pound okay in there so maybe a little heavy on the crab but again I'm not all really right. all that insistent on my measurements okay that's great that's how I cook too it should smell and taste right that's what matters right <laughs> oh my gosh and the finer you top it probably the better we're gonna better? be on this yeah okay all right but it will shred up a little bit too okay. once we put it in the mixing bowl, so. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. How lucky we are. Okay, how's that look? Looks good. You want a little more finer than no, that? I think that'll be fine. Okay. Like I said, it'll break up a little in the mixing bowl and a couple of larger chunks will be like a nice little surprise. Kind of oh, like I love that, all right. Kind of like the garlic is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, now I probably am going to need your help. Let's see if we can do it with this guy. Don't want to spill it. And now I'm spilling it. All right, that should be plenty. And then we'll get it mixing. And we also want to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. About half a teaspoon of each. So now we got to try to get this off of there. Okay. Uh, can you, oops, it's going to have to be pulled up. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Lower that down. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh wow. Mm -hmm. Look at the yummy right. goodness. Okay, let's. Uh... Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's okay. All right, cool. Oh, wow. Huh. That looks good. So now. Is it time to taste it? If you'd like to, yeah. Mmm. Pretty much all that's left oh, now is Michael. to brown it up. Nice. Like that? I do. So. It's seasoned perfectly. Chocked full of crab. Wow. And you can see kind of a creamy consistency. Wow. You can see where the whipping cream's kind of puffed okay. it up a little bit. Now at this point, yeah, we can take this and if you want to, just fill this up and save it for tomorrow. You okay. Can, you know, put a little bit in there, put a Tupperware lid on it. Now okay. this is good to go at that you point. You can eat this for dinner. Well, I mean, you want to heat it up in the oven first because you want to get a little bit of that brownness on it, just okay. a little bit of crispiness. And then eat it. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, you can use these ramekin type things to use in the oven to, to whip it up. I use the bigger ones if I'm having a few people over. These are cute. And these smaller ones are great for just a couple people hanging out. And okay. Like I said, if you have this filled and you only have a couple people coming over, you just pop this in, okay. pop it in the oven. All right. And then forget about it for 15 minutes Shall or we? so. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So that goes in there. In a 425 degree oven? Correct. For about 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. And while that's doing that, okay. Now we, you said you knew how to core an apple. <laughs> well. <laughs> and this is just to be fancy. I mean, you can okay. take sliced apples and do all, all that right. stuff. But one of the easiest ways to like slice apples and such and keep it uniform is to use a mandolin. Oh, yes. And I, of course, left piece of my mandolin at home so hopefully I don't like slice the ends of my fingers off but okay. yeah we could take this and then you just run it oh wow look at that through like that and this is where it gets dangerous you don't want to do this at home you really want to use the tool that comes with this thing so that you don't cut yourself but at the end yeah you've just got these great little oh. slices that are perfect for gosh you know, how handy mm, I'm not really yeah, comfortable I, doing yeah. that so yeah. let's see if we can pull that one back out okay. and then yeah okay same thing just slice them straight wow. through I was mentioning earlier um, I don't get to have gadgets on the boat. <laughs> There's just not enough space. That's true. 
And like I mentioned, it's, I try not to have any gadgets in the kitchen that really don't have multiple uses. This one really does. I mean, there's okay. plenty of things that you want to slice yeah. and have your uniform slice instead of just, you know, uh, my poor knife skills Watch chopping it up. Yeah, I am. <laughs> one more. How many do you think for uh, two? What's that? Did you get yourself? No, I'm good. Okay. Whatever you like. All right. Or I mean, we've got plenty of dip, so. <laughs> okay. Or if you're not using the mandolin, you could. Uh, yeah, you can show me how to do it just with a knife there. Um, okay, that's pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> I turn it like upside down, like so, and and just slice slice them thin. I love a good green apple. Oh yeah. And the flavors on these really do blend well with the crab. Oh, that's going to be plenty of plenty of apples. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to slice up a little bit of French bread as well. Okay. Uh, that's another one that people tend to like with this one. Okay. I know I do. Make a little sandwich out of it. <laughs> hey, absolutely. I've been craving this dip for a couple of days now. <laughs> <laughs> When I'm on the road, I crave it quite a bit, that's oh, for sure. Oh, I bet. And uh, I'm sure you know this, but if you want to set this out, let's say you're having a party or whatever, and you don't want the apples to brown, you can squeeze a little bit of lemon juice okay. on there and keep them from browning up. Nice. Plus, it gives it a little bit of a uh, little extra flavor. A little extra tartness there, yeah. yeah. OK. Gosh. So we got plenty of apple, if you want. OK. We got plenty of bread. We got plenty of dip. And now we're just waiting for about six to ten more, more minutes okay. and we're good to go. All right. Okay. Right on the floor. <laughs> okay, now how would you like to slice your bread? Do you have a way you do it? Nope. I just... Do you want it thick? You well, want it's... You know, it is an appetizer, so usually smaller pieces because, okay. you know, let's say you have a guest of, a, you know, eight or ten guests coming over, maybe you want some thinner slices, smaller pieces of bread for them. Okay, I bet a baguette would work good with this too. Yeah, absolutely. A smaller loaf of French bread. Mm hmm Okay. Shall I cut these in half then, or? If you like. All right. It's your show. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, make them a little smaller. Perfect. All right. Put them like this, I guess. Okay, wow. Excellent. It's already starting to look like a party. There it is. <laughs> I've been to parties at your house before. You have. They're fun. It was fun. And you cook. You cook for us. That's right. Crab and shrimp. Lots we, of shrimp. I had crab and shrimp last year, yeah. Oh my god. I forget what else I had. Smoked salmon. Of course. That's, mm -hmm. that's the given in the equation. I think there were strawberries. <laughs> Could have been. I can remember something about a strawberry. It's possible. I don't even remember. We've been talking about doing that as like an annual party. And Let's do it. So now we're going to go ahead and pull this out. A little bit bubbled over. So Woo! You wow. can see it there on top. Oh That's, my goodness. Like I said, for maybe two people. Wow. Oh, shoot. Whoa. And then you can, yeah, there we go. Wow. If you had a few more people, that's really oh hot. So goodness. let it sit up for a second. Wow. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to turn okay. that off. We'll figure that out in a minute. All right. So if you want to set like a little bit of bread around it, oh, look some at you. apples around it, however you want to do it. Okay. Feel free to throw some over there. All right. And then let it cool for just a minute. We don't want to eat it when it's too hot. Wow. Wow. You could you could have this for dinner. <laughs> oh yeah, it's rich, you know. Uh, but yeah, you could. <laughs> oh, this looks so great. We'll dig on in. Throw a little bit. If you want to grab a spoon, maybe, and spoon some onto a piece of apple. Wow. OK. You grab a spoon, too. We'll each have our own. Perfect, yeah. All right. Mine's for the crew. That's just for you. OK. <laughs> so Jake and Ole can come over here and help me eat this okay. one. OK, all Sound right. Sound good? So here we go. Oh, my goodness. Wow, it's creamy. Mm. I think I'm gonna put mine 
Oh, I can't decide. Mm, you can see a little bit of crust on I'm the top. I'm gonna put mine on the bread. Okay. I'm putting mine on the apple. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Mmm. <laughs> You're right. Good. I was really good. Oh, you're really rich. <laughs> mm, wow. Boy, this hits the spot. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm. Gosh, well, thanks for coming on the show. My pleasure, truly. Really appreciate it. Thank you, you for a having website? me. Uh, well, of course, George Inlet Lodge. It's www.catchcrabs.com. All right. And for more recipes, um, visit LaDonnaRose.com. Um, follow me on Facebook at Facebook forward slash LaDonna Rose Cooks. All right, it's awesome. a wrap. <laughs> yeah, enjoy. Thank you. It's possible. I don't even remember. We've been talking about doing that as like an annual party. Let's do it. That would be then in about, well, that was mid June, so we got a couple months to plan. Yeah, All yeah. Right. awesome. Perfect. You guys won't be gone already? Okay. Okay. We're in mid June. All right. Invitation just went out on KPU you a convention. <laughs> 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 I'm just joking. What'd you see? It just went out. Oh, right, yeah. Everyone's <laughs> party. Now, Come on uh, down to Briggsy's house so on June 15th. <laughs>